Page 13, Lyrical Piece. 4-4 four, four time, we got one sharp in the key signature, we're in the key of G major, so all of the Fs are going to be sharped. There aren't any Fs in the piece, but if there were, they would be sharped. Doesn't matter, it's still in the key of G major, therefore it's got to have a sharp in the key signature. Whether you use an F or not is not important. You got to have a sharp in the key signature. Right hand first, we have these half notes. You're starting third finger here. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, four, one. So forth. Let's go down to the last line. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Not a lot of quarter notes in here, but there's a few. Now left hand, quarter notes all over the place. You're starting here. And it's one, two, three, four. And again, I'm just transferring weight from note to note. I'm slightly rotating the arm just a little bit. I exaggerate it so you can see it, but the motion is actually a very little one. And it doesn't matter which fingers. I can, even with the index finger and the thumb, I can still transfer the weight. It doesn't matter what the fingers are. You can still transfer weight. And that's what really what the left hand is doing throughout. And the last line is a little trickier because then the notes get a little jumbled up. The last line. And the last two measures. When you have a G and a B together, I'm still just transferring weight from the D over to the other two notes. And just now two fingers are down instead of one. Put the hands together. It's kind of nice having this pulse in the left hand to keep you going. Otherwise, you'll tend to want to speed this up. And you, you got to hold back. So these quarter notes are really nice to keep the beat. Let's go down to the last line. That's the tricky one here. two measures. Just make sure every note is working okay because the different fingers are playing at different times. When we get to the point you can play that without any hesitations at all. You also need to get to the point you can play it without looking at the keyboard. You know which fingers are on those notes and you just use them when you need them. Once you have the rhythm and the notes down then we can put in the articulation, the slurs. The left hand doesn't really have anything marked, so I'm, I'm suggesting you just connect the left hand all the way through. All of it. Just play it all connected. The right hand, you have these slurs, so at the end of the first line, your G, before you go on, lift up. And the second line, lift up, just a little lift up. So in the last measure of the second line, lift up. The beat has to be steady, so it's one, two, three, four, and that's connected. So lift up in the right hand where the slurs are, and just connect the left hand. Then we can add the dynamics where they don't really give you any dynamics. It's medium soft at the beginning. That's the, this is a gentle piece. This is like a cradle song or a nocturne or something, really gentle to put somebody to sleep. That's the atmosphere. So you're not going to play it really super loud or not. That would be out of context. Just keep it on the soft side. And you can get a little louder and softer as you feel it. You get to know it and get comfortable with the music so you're not thinking about notes and rhythms. Fingering. And you're just listening to the music. If you feel it getting a little louder, get a little louder. Like in the second line. I would play these A's a little louder than the G. You have to feel these dynamics. You're not going to play the whole thing at medium le soft level. You're going to get a little, it's just in that area is where it is. And you get a little louder and softer. I can't tell you exactly how to do it. You have to feel it. You've got to get into the music well enough that you can feel it and experience it for yourself. 
that's kind of what I'm after here. Moderato, what's the flow of the piece? And these half notes make these flow. Don't worry about the quarter notes. To me, the quarter notes, that's all accompaniment. It's the melody. I want this to flow. Maybe not flowing quite that fast, I don't care, but I'm, then I'll make everything else fit that. You get the idea? I even put in a little retardando at the end of the second line, because... Uh, because you're, you're ending and you're kind of coming back in, you're starting it up again. Third line's like the first line. And it's normal when you do that, it's just part of interpreting something, is you can slow down just a little bit, not much, just a little, and then take off again. It just is. And I would come down to, to soft or just that half note should be softer than anything else. The left hand needs to be really soft. Just come down there. You're ending a phrase, you're ending a just... So go ahead and learn it and when you're ready come back let's play it together and make sure you have the right notes and the rhythm shouldn't be a problem but the notes. So I will play it together very slowly. I'll give us four counts. One Two, ready, go.